from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. You know, the hard part to swallow with uh, about being people without power is the fact that these numbers are temperatures that they are not accustomed to getting for multiple days in a row. We're talking about 18 degrees in Dallas, 17 in Little Rock, 5 in St. Louis, 16 in Nashville. Uh, thankfully, we're not expecting that type of cold air our way, but the system that is bringing some snow to portions of the Texas Panhandle towards Arkansas will eventually lift into our region as we head into the day tomorrow. Now, I'm expecting Wednesday to be dry, but as we head into the overnight hours past around midnight, we'll start to see some of that snow trickling into our viewing area. So that means working that third shift, you may want to give yourselves a few extra minutes on the roads because you'll get into some of that, especially if you're in Western Maryland. Here's the look at the setup at the six o'clock hour. We're dry. High pressure kind of dominates the first half of the day, but we see clouds advancing from the southwest as we head into the afternoon and evening hours with moisture starting to push into the western half of the state at around 11 o'clock. Unfortunately, it only increases from there. But as far as tomorrow, it is not going to feel like today. We got into the upper 40s. We're going to struggle to hit the mid 30s tomorrow. And then whenever you factor in the wind, we're going to be talking about wind chills in the teens for the morning drive, getting into the 20s during the afternoon and then kind of cresting in the low 30s late tomorrow evening. So not going to be the most pleasant day. Then we're watching this winter storm watch that goes into effect at 3 a.m. Thursday morning through Friday morning because we could see some significant snow and unfortunately some ice as well. Starting with the morning hours, that drive is going to be slippery as snow is pushing into the region, could make a little bit of a slushy mess. And then as we head into the afternoon, well, the mid levels start to warm and you can see rain in southern Maryland. You can see that wintry mix that's starting to lift northward. And I do think we're going to get a period of wintry mix and a period of a lull uh, and then snow to the north and west. So that's why I think some of the higher totals are going to be north and west. Plus, they're going to be colder. That system is going to be lingering through the start of your Friday. Here is a look at the hour by hour breakdown where you can see temperatures does not get above freezing throughout most of your Thursday, but because of the mid levels, we have that wintry mix through the afternoon and then rain as we head into the evening. Models are being overly aggressive on this system because there will be a warm layer. It's not really picking up on it, so I'm nudging these numbers downward. I do think two to five is a good number for the corridor, less than one inch south and east and then north and west. We can see five to eight inches as we head through the seven day forecast things do dry out just in time for the weekend, but we are below average and then we're warming as we head back to work next week.